Welcome to Still Plays Galaxy of Heroes. This is Grand Arena, first match of Season 9. We've got some bad news in that my opponent did not set their defense. We have been Jar jar on this channel. Being Jar jar is having to deal with an auto-deploy. Because my opponent didn't do the decent thing uh, and just set a defense. Is this this makes it fun for nobody and is super annoying just like Jar Jar. So we have a top territory here that all the relics were dumped into from my opponent. So that's going to be weird. I think we have enough synergized meta characters where we're going to be able to go through it, but we're not going to take too many chances. Down here, one relic, weird matchups. We'll see, we'll see how cleanly we do this. These auto deploys can can be a mess, and depending on how strong of a defense you set, you can run out of teams on some some occasions. But I think I I've gone str strong enough on offense that we'll get through this without too many issues. This one I think we're gonna just blow up with GG. Oh wait, I put him on defense. Never mind. Let me think about this. This one, we're gonna use gas. And just Ahsoka. I think I'm gonna need fives and Rex elsewhere. Come on. Let's finish off Kylo. Use the basic, avoids the foresight. I know I could have gone for Padme first, but it felt to me that Yoda was the weak link and I was more worried about the offense from Yoda. I took gas up against Padme because there was at least a little bit of synergy there between Padme and Yoda. These other teams don't really have any synergy to speak of. I think we're taking Darth Revan against this JTR team. Uh, they're all legendary or journeys characters. There's relics. These other relic characters I'm not as worried about. Question is, do I leave Malik? No. Do I leave Malik for a potential solo later on? But I think I shouldn't chance it since I don't have Basco Fallen. Because Corrupted Battle Meditation is just such a huge debuff. Now the team is not really the same without her.
Okay. Normally I'd be going for the bottom territory, but because all of the difficult teams are here on this top territory, we're focusing up here and not worrying about the back wall, because we know there's not going to be surprises on the back wall in terms of relics and strength of roster. All right. Hmm. All right. I'm thinking about Jedi Revan here and CLS up here, but my CLS only has relics on Han and Darth Revan can do some serious damage but he's only gear 12, he's not in the leader slot I think we should do that one first Because this way we can control Thrawn and not have to worry about the fracture. We've got, yeah, let's just do it. You know what, let's just, let's see what he can do to Revan. That's right, they're not gonna assist. That was the worst one you could have hit. Alright. We're good. I'm still thinking Jedi Knight Revan here. Mods are no good. That's a slow Vader. My Jedi Knight Revan is not that good anymore. I keep taking speed mods off of him. All right, those are the tough ones. Let's open up this back wall. Yeah, none of these are anything to worry about. We're gonna take
fives here. Let's bring in one more clone. We've got Sergeant. Is this one I'm comfortable waiting around for Rex to get his Annihilate. See, next turn already. We're going to take out Finn. Leave the taunt off of fives for a little bit. Seems to me Chewbacca is really the threat at this point. We're good. All right, we got, we still have Treya. We still have my Vader. So this is what I'm worried about. We're, we're already kind of through a lot of my good teams. We got a stun, we've got a ability blocks, some AoEs. A Traer in the lead with a droid. We have it's gonna be a weak metalloid monstrosity, but it still exists. We're gonna JTR this one. So JTR was used her because without Palpatine, this is just like any boss matchup. We still have to figure out 
So we've used gas, we've used fives, we've used earth revan, we've used CLS, we've used JKR. We're running out of teams. So here's what I put on defense. We've got Shakti, Bosk, First Order with Hux. We've got Telzine. Over here we have Newt, Bastilashan, Ventress. And on this back wall we are looking at Grievous, Palpatine with Bastle Fallen. Padme and an old Ben Evasion team. So this one right here Yeah, we are getting thin. I can bring my own Treya and it'll be a definite win. We have a Empire team we can kind of use I think we're kind of out of bounty hunters other than Django. Yeah, none of those are great. I can bring in Mando, but not with this. With the AoEs, he's gonna get Mando's gonna get taken out. And then with Separatist. That's not real I can kind of make up something with Django Watt and B2, but that's not gonna. That's still risky against this team. I think I'm going to just do the definite win. And we'll see what happens on the back wall. I'm going after R2 just because I'm going to annihilate uh, Grievous. Yeah, see, without relics, to, there's just nothing there. I thought I had, had it this turn. All right, come on. Okay. Well, I think we might be able to do some troopers somewhere. 
We do have Brood Alpha here, but it's a low gear one. One more Relics character. You can tell he's going for Galactic Legends Ray. Basil Fallen. This is probably the toughest one here. More because of Basil Fallen than because of the Trooper. I'm wondering if there's any team I can bring Veers against, and if it's anybody, it's this one. Actually, you know, that stun out the gate is going to mess them up. All right. We're going to use my Empire here. I'm wondering if I should pull out Thrawn. What if I did... Not smugglers, what am I doing? What if I did Wampa? But my Wampa is only gear 9, so we have Trooper. This isn't gonna do it. Maybe if I had a Relic Fader. You know what? We're gonna... We're gonna try to work towards one of those feats. What do we wanna bring? We're gonna try this. There's a lot of damage on their side, so this could go poorly, but they're all weak enough that I think we might be able to take somebody out. And I think we're gonna go for Chirpa first. That daze is gonna kill me. All right, we're in trouble. All right. I forgot about that days. Okay. Okay. I wonder if we can clean it up with troopers now. We don't have a leadership, but... Well, let's look at Empire. We're going to clean it up with troopers and we'll get more towards one of those feats. But we will leave it for now. Because I want to see if I need to have Palpatine, or not Palpatine, uh, Thrawn and Death Trooper for one of these teams.
All right, what am I doing here? We have one AOE here, one AO, two AOEs here. What's my first order looking like? Nothing. I don't want to do this. I can fracture somebody. Still need more damage. This is what I feel most comfortable with. We need to make sure we get through this team. The other teams, we can just take multiple teams up against. I'm most worried about Basilis Sean. See if we can get that ability block. Get a death mark over here. What doesn't have a lead, right? Yeah, so I have Django's lead, which isn't going to do anything. Max health will be nice to up against Kylo. This is what we want.
I need to land that daze. Come on. See if we can get that days. All right. Okay. I want that damage immunity. Han could take Watt out before anything even happens. We do have Nest. Trying this. Let's see if we can get troopers to do anything here. This might be another loss. What does Tarkin's lead do? Versus what? Crit chance, potency. Debuffed enemies who are critically hit during the Empire's. No, who cares? No, we don't have anything with troopers. I can only hope for like a cheap kill.
We'll do this. I shouldn't need a reinforcement. What? Lame. All right. That's a nice finish. Kind of surprised we got that many banners when I didn't do really any underdogs. towards that feet this and that other one that's that's gonna be a pain okay that is it for this video thank you for everyone this has been still plays galaxy of heroes be safe out there be excellent to each other